Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solo systems. So today we've got one system from the user Salo in Discord, um, so a massive thank you to him for sending this in. But with that all said and done, let's hop straight into this and see what uh, he has prepared for us today. So, uh, there it is there, straight in. Cool, All right, what have we got? So, the only thing he said was it has a big description, so... Let's see, uh, let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay, so. The, the low-key system. So this is a planetary system about 5,249 light years from the solar system. Made up of a red dwarf star and 25 other planets um, around it. Okay, so it's a red dwarf around two times as big as Jupiter and nine times as massive. With a surface temperature of 2,800 degrees Kelvin. So not a very hot star there, okay. So, first of the planets. So, around half the mass of Earth. Let's just turn all this off. Okay. Half the mass of Earth. And nearly the same as it. Um, it's a scorched world due to the proximity. The average temperature here is 180 degrees Celsius. Very, very hot world there. Okay. Next up, we've got this world. So, known as... Uh, just want us it's a frozen planet around 0.3 times as massive as earth and a thin atmosphere about as massive as mars minus 232 degrees is the average temperature it's a very cold planet the water and ice make it a very reflective and bright world cool there's its moon there as well cool there you are hang on was that the right one um and i think we're looking at the so uh so we've done the scorch one. Object C. Oh, we gone straight to D. Where's C? C? Um, where, where's C? Where is? Oh, what's it doing over there? Well, there it is. So that's the one we just read. That's the frozen world. So for some reason, object C is further out than D. Where? Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's continue. So now we're now we're heading to object D, which is the Earth-like world, the blue one. That's what we're after, so. So it contains intelligent life and a moon. It's a beautiful place with massive continents covered in forests and cities. It is somehow not tidily locked to the star, and that's one of the reasons life was able to evolve on its surface. It's a little bit smaller than Earth, but has roughly the same mass. The average temperature is 28.2. Nice. Looking good. Um, but has um, It's a large moon about the size of Earth moons with very different surface features. Okay, um, probably due to fallings on its surface in prime, it wasn't formed near the parent, uh, Halema, which is the parent, um, but it's instead the captured dwarf planet from the outer parts of the system. Nice. There you go, so there's those two. It has a crater on its southern hemisphere in prime, a collision that happened in the past. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow, there is a big crater hidden there. Okay, cool. Can't see it though because it's in the darkness, but. Is hidden there. Let's just do a quick uh, little. Uh... There it is. So, pretty crazy. Okay. So next up, we got object E. Where is object E? Oh, they're all in the wrong order. Okay, right. Second furthest planet from the start is a Mars like planet, a huge desert with reddish atmosphere. The atmosphere of Genza is somehow pretty active, even though it's very far from the star. There are huge storms happening all over the planet. It has got four moons orbiting it. Um, and there's a swampy world with green atmosphere and some clouds. Okay. So this is the first one. Swampy world. Looking good. Then we got these ones as well. Okay. Just open them all up. Actually, look in the menu. So there they all are there. Okie dokie. Cool. Cool. So we've done object E. So now we're going to object F. Which is back closer to the star again. It was known as Akam. It is a chlorine world with a huge ocean liquid chlorine covering its surface. Chlorine evaporates, forming clouds which rain over the small islands and massive oceans of Akam. Uh, Gaizilla, the moon of Akam, is a weird object with a beautiful blue atmosphere and some lakes and oceans. It's got a very few clouds and an average temperature of 21.4 degrees, but it's not known how it's so hot because it's very far from the star. Okay. Cool. There you go, okay. So there's a nice moon a bit as well. Nice. So that's the, 
Yeah, blue roof so some next notion's got a very few clouds average temperature. Yeah, it looks cool. Okay, so next up we've got object G. Okay, F G Where's G? Um Oh it's closer to the star. Wow, the letters are all jumbled. Right, so there it is. So object G known as white is boring sort of well being as big as Earth, but it's a white and black world. Its only interesting features are the huge mountains and valleys all over its surface. Its two moons, Clen and Dump, aren't much interesting either, but they are captured when the system was forming. So there they are there. Okay. Cool. Okay, next up we've got Object H, which is over here. Go by the name Zelly. It's so far away that no sunlight even reaches it, but there it is in the menu there. Mysterious object, a place where no one has gone before. It has the system's second largest moon. Uh, so where's that? Uh, this one here. So far away, uh, uh, no one's gone before. It has the second largest moon. So f it is so far away that when the telescope, the most powerful telescope the Hallians ever tried to take an image of it, the best it could was a few blobs of colour until a mission is sent to Zelly to explore it, it will remain a mysterious world and unknown. Okay, cool. And that does it for the system. So there we go. There's also a few more moons in here as well. All pretty generic looking though, as you can see. So there they are. Um, there was a few, um, I think there was a few inner objects that we didn't get a description for. I think these, these objects here, I don't think we didn't get any description for these, but they're like random small minor worlds in the inner solar system here this one's got a um i don't think this one was even mentioned it's got a nice earth like look to it got a bit of oceans going on got a moon as well okay yeah, a few more there as well so there we are cool but yeah that does it for the uh lokia system so let's, let's get a line up for them all there so you can see them all together so no gas shines and everyone's quite a similar size if you notice so Okay, cool. But again, a massive thank you to the creator of the system, Salo, for sending this system in. And yeah, guys, of that all said and done. If you like this video, let's see if we can go for 50 likes on uh, this video as well. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Helps in a journey to 30,000 subscribers. But of that all said and done, guys, a massive thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.